even before it started disappearing, it was only found in eight streams up on Walden Ridge by, uh, up by Dayton and Spring City in Tennessee. That's it, the only place in the world. It's now down to two streams. These fish that have always had narrow ranges, they are more imperiled than most fishes because it only takes a couple of major events in their habitat and you've lost most of your population. It is for sure one of the top five most endangered species east of the Mississippi uh, for fishes. It, it is literally on the brink of extinction. During the drought we had last year, in August and September, we went out and rescued laurel dace from a stream that was just a few isolated puddles. And here they are in human care. We have about a third of them here, a third of them at our animal care facility, and a third of them at a national fish hatchery, Wolf Creek National Fish Hatchery. What we were really concerned about, not only were the adults disappearing with the disappearing water, but the young of the year, the really small guys, the drought really started really early in July. When these guys spawn in March and April. And so, you know, the, the young were only like a month and a half, two months old when the start, drought started. In a normal setting, when you go out and collect in uh, August, most of your fish are young of the year because, you know, as they grow, some of them, you know, get preyed upon and whatever, but normally you have a lot of young of the year in August, and when we rescued them, we only found one out of ten was young of the year, so that's our real concern. These fish only live three, maybe four years. We had some about five years ago in human care, and they did not spawn when they were one year old. They only spawned when they were two years old. So if that's the case in the wild, an adult only spawns twice. And so if you miss a whole year class, that's a huge chunk of their population missing. But after we, we went out and rescued these laurel dace, we did do a survey in December, and we didn't find any laurel dace in Young's Creek. And then in Bumby Creek, I think we got 26 or 27 compared to the almost 300 we have in human care. Every time we lose a species, that ecosystem foundation gets a little weaker because everything is not working together. All the fishes, mussels, snails, aquatic insects, bacteria are not working to clean that water. And so now you have to pay more for your drinking water now maybe you can't go paddle boarding out in the river. Now maybe you can't eat any fish. So by keeping all of our different species around, we've got 335 fishes just in the state of Tennessee. That keeps our aquatic environment stronger and humans and all the critters that live in the water around us have healthier fresh water. They are gorgeous fish too and it, it would really be a shame for them to blink out. Even if folks don't see them, um, we want to celebrate them. So it's all interconnected and just Tennesseans realizing we have something unique and if we protect it and improve its habitat, we're improving the lives of folks in Spring City, we're improving the bass fisheries in Chickamauga Reservoir, we're just helping everything. And it's all so interconnected. And that's what's so cool about the work I do. I study this little fish that nobody knows about, but it actually has impacts down the road if we help out this little guy, which I think is really cool.